Hi everyone, it's Steve Estran again with Good Food, Cast Iron Cookware, and Tasty Treats. Today we're going to be making something very simple. Not a lot of ingredients, we just have four ingredients. And we're going to be making a cherry cobbler in cast iron, or a dump cake, which a lot of people call it. You just dump everything in and cook it. So it's pretty simple. We have four ingredients. Our first ingredient will be two 20 ounce cans of cherry pie filler or cherry topping. So we have two cans. Second ingredient will be a chocolate cake mix. Any kind will do, any brand will do, whatever you prefer. And one cup of chopped walnuts or crushed walnuts. Also one stick of butter. So plain and simple, four ingredients. And also one of my favorite things, and we'll lay this back so we can talk about this. So let's just move all this aside. This is one of my favorite pieces of cast iron. I say that about all of them, they're all my favorites. But I have a, a memory of collecting these pieces. This piece here is a Iron Mountain number no. eight cast iron skillet made by Griswold. This number corresponds to the number eight. Number seven, number five, number three, number 10, all have their own number. So this is a number eight Iron Mountain made by Griswold. And when I first got it, I purchased it from a, a, a guy at a flea market in Atala at uh, Highway 77 and 278. They're there every, every Sunday. And I'd always stop by there on the way to church and see this guy and he'd always hook me up with some cast iron and I bought a lot of pieces from him. This piece, when I first got it, I was just learning about cast iron and I didn't really recognize it. It had the little telltale signs of a Birmingham Southern Range because it had this little ridge, but I knew it wasn't Birmingham Southern Range because it had this handle that was wide and it flared out, kind of strange, that I haven't seen before but it was corroded. It was covered up with many years of cooking and season and just piled it on. And I was just curious more than anything. I said, how much you take for that? Oh, that one, I'll take $10. I thought, hey, it's worth the experience. Okay, let's get started with our cherry cobbler and cast iron, or what a lot of people prefer to call it is a cherry dump cake. First ingredients, we have two cans, 10 ounces each of cherry, pie filling. That's one. And that's two. We want to spread this around evenly. You get your juices, kind of spread it around evenly. You don't want it juicy on one side and all cherries on the other. Kind of get it nice and even. Like I said, this is a simple recipe, but it is delicious. Next item, one chocolate cake mix. And we're just gonna pour this on top. We're gonna spread it around. Our final ingredient, one stick of butter. We're gonna cut this up in small pats or small little slices. Just kind of evenly space them out. Our final ingredient will be the chopped walnuts. Like I said, you can use pecans or any other kind of nut or just not even put them on. But it's, believe me, it's better with some kind of nuts. So you get this so everybody will have some nuts in it. We 
person. I like to kind of pat them in just a little bit. But they will sink in. And here we go. 350 degrees for about 30 minutes and watch it close. So let's stick this in the oven. Cherry cobbler in a cast iron skillet. Hi everyone, this is Stephen Strong again. Just want to let you know as always, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I will keep them coming. This is Stephen Strong again, signing out. Thanks.